Uh, hi guys, um, I'm on the plot once again. It's uh, Saturday. Um, I'm not too sure about the uh, date. I think it's the 23rd. Let me tell you what, this first bed here is two rows of peas and it's got a catch crop of uh, radish in between the two. Second bed here has got two rows of uh, Pentland Javelin potatoes, which are first earlies. Also got a catch crop of radish in between. What I've done this morning, and I haven't filmed it, um, simply because there was uh, another person on the plot opposite and in the interest of privacy I didn't know whether she'd uh, take too kindly to me in the movie but I have some Charlotte potatoes in here two rows of Charlotte uh, and uh, in this bed here what I'm going to do I'm going to plant these potatoes here sorry about my shadow and these are Desiree which are a main crop potato there's not many of them, but you don't need many of them in a in a bed this size. It's only like I don't know two and a half meters by one and a half meter, or one one point two meter by two point four meters, something like that. You know, and that's what I'm going to do. Also today, I'm going to uh, put the weed suppressant membrane in between the beds because uh, although I've uh, tamped the ground down, uh, as you can see, the weeds are coming up again. Don't take them long. A little bit of rain, and up they pop. So it needs the uh, needs some membrane on on top just to stop them uh, taking over again. So <laughs> I will go around and uh, hold them off first, then put the membrane on top. So that's it. Um, apart from this little line here, when I've uh, not weeded because of the uh, digitalis. You remember that? Sorry about the compost uh, or the uh, grow more fertilizer. I'm going to dig those digitalis up and they're going to go in those pots there and uh, I may or may not film uh, doing that because it's not very interesting any gardener knows you just fill a pot full of compost dig, dig it up and stick it in a pot um, got a little bit of digging to do over there and then this afternoon if I have time I'm going to rotivate the plot and level it off and then tomorrow I'll see about getting this raised bed here um, in um then that'll be it for the raised beds the rest of the plot will just be uh, treated like a normal allotment uh, until i can get some more raised beds in next year uh, also the top near the uh, compost bins need <laughs> needs weeding as well so i'll probably get on with that tomorrow that's a job for tomorrow all right so bye for now i'll uh, i'll catch you later i will keep you uh, updated on how the plot progresses and thank you to any new subscribers to my uh, youtube channel uh, greatly appreciated um, I'm up to 32 now and I, d I don't believe it because I didn't have that many before until I started doing the gardening videos um, the workshop videos probably wasn't uh, sorry about panning around uh, wasn't uh, doing it you know what I mean but there you go we can uh, we can uh, hope for 3200 be <laughs> before the end of the year I'll keep you updated bye for now Right, okay guys, as you can see we're back. I've given this uh, bed and um, this bed um, a dressing of a balanced fertilizer, 174 grams per square meter. Um, would about do it because they're uh, 2.4 square meters by 1.2 square meter, uh, 2.4 meters by 1.2 meters. So that's just about it. Uh, I've got the bead poles up, as you can see. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to broad beans, uh, six rows of broad, or six broad beans on uh, the front side and six climbing French beans on the back side. I've also potted up the digitalis and uh, I'm in the process of weeding this bottom plot now. So uh, as soon as I get this weeded, I will be getting the rotivator out of the... Uh, tank as we call it the big container that's locked in and uh, rotivating the plot uh, the other thing is it, it seems to be on a bit of a slope and it's on a very high slope so I may have to terrace the uh, the next lot I may have to put um, a board along here like I have done on the bottom of the plot just to hold back the soil and any raised beds next year will go in the top half and uh, you know it'll be be like a terrace plot which is great 
so that's the process so far that's the progress it's uh, it's getting there um, let me just show you the digitalis I've dug it up I've potted it on and uh, this is what we've got we've got six pots of large plants and five pots of small plants which is good because uh, next year or in, in in September in the autumn I'll just plant them out where I want them to flower and they can flower away nicely and bring in all the pollinating uh, insects okay so that's that's the uh, the plot so far I'll carry on weeding and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when the weeding's done bye okay guys um, it's Sunday the 23rd of uh, April um, I was hoping to get all the weeding finished uh, yesterday left me rake out last night <laughs> doesn't really matter nobody's going to steal it uh, we're all friends on the allotment uh, here I have started to weed that bottom plot I've got the uh, digitalis out there in pots I just need to do a little bit more weeding there and a little bit more weeding there so today the plan is a take these weeds out B put the weed suppressant membrane down sorry about my shadow again but the Sun is where the Sun is and I can't help that um, you know and then C rotivate this top half and get it ready for planting with brassicas such as sprouts cauliflowers cabbage uh, kale etc etc and uh, as you know during the winter months I will put some more raised beds in here but I need to terrace it I need to get uh, another board along this bottom edge uh, because the plot does slope and it's not doing my raised beds much good um, you know so I'll put I'll put an, an edge in, in there and I will terrace it and the uh, the raised beds that go in the winter will go on this top terrace here I've already had a word with the committee they don't mind me doing that as long as it's uh, what I want and I am paying the rent for the plot so you know as long as it's not going against uh, council rules or committee rules I'm quite fine to do that I still need to weed that top third though um, well it's not even a third is it? it's just a, just a little bit get rid of the compost bins put them somewhere else because they're very unsightly there near the shed and that's about it so today we're concentrating on uh, digging out the rest of the weeds which will take me about 20 30 minutes and uh, putting in the weed suppressant membrane around the raised beds that I've already got and then rotivating and you will see me rotivating because when I start rotivating I'll put the camera on and that'll be very exciting for you <laughs> honestly it will okay see you later right, hi guys I'm here again uh, I finished the weeding uh, I wait till about uh, it's, it's about 8 30 8 40 in the morning on a Sunday the 23rd um, I'm gonna wait till about 10 o'clock before I get the rotator out the shed you know and uh, start disturbing people's peace it is Sunday just listen. I'll stop talking. Just listen. Oh, God, that is heaven. This is my way of de-stressing. After a week of work and, you know, answering questions from engineers and stuff like that, you know, Billy, what part do I need for this? Billy, what part do I need for that? I don't know, you're the engineer, give me a part number and I'll get you the part, not a problem, you know, I get all sorts of silly questions and I get stressed um, very easily by people mithering me instead of letting me get on with my job, but this is just, I come down here and really, you know, it's... <laughs> From the minute I come down here, it's, it's, it's just a, a de-stressing situation. I come down here and I'm, I'm, I'm calm. I, I can't, you know, I can't put it any other way. 
this is my way of de-stressing, detoxing, de-whatever after a, a week of work. Yeah, uh, or a stressful week at work. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, digging or whatever, but that's what does it. A little bit of exercise, the calmness, the songs from the birds. Every now and then you get a car going by, but there you go, you always do, don't you? And this is my way of de-stressing. And it's beautiful, and I would recommend it to anybody out there. If you want to de-stress, get yourself down to your local council, stick your name on the allotment list, and then, you know, depending on how long the waiting list is, get yourself an allotment, grow your own food. That's the thing. I can guarantee that the food I'm growing in those beds down at the bottom there, you know, be it carrots, cabbages, cauliflowers, lettuce, whatever, will taste... 200% better than the crap that you buy from the supermarkets and I'm still I'm still learning you know I'm still preserving I, I'm eating beetroot that I preserved last year I'm eating rhubarb jam that I preserved last year you know from the rhubarb bush sorry about going from left to right and left to right and right to left <laughs> with the camera but I've just got I can't just stand here and, uh, and talk you know, everything I grew last year, carrots, onions, whatever, they're all preserved, they're all in the freezer, and we're still eating them. We didn't have to buy any, you know? And this is what it's all about. Grow enough food during the summer to last you through the winter and into next summer, and then by that time comes, you've grown some more food that you can eat through the summer. So basically, you're on the road to self-sufficiency. Although... I don't think we'll achieve it on uh, on this plot. We we just haven't got the room. But I mean, if you got four or five acres, then you could do. Okay, I'm going to leave you now. I'll see you later. Just listen to the bird song, relax, chill out. Right, okay guys, uh, I'm back on the allotment. It's Saturday the 29th of April, uh, bank holiday Saturday. Uh, maybe carrying on from uh, last week really. Um, I've got some weed suppressant membrane down uh, in between the beds, the raised beds, but I actually run out. <laughs> I thought I'd have enough, but it seems that I've, uh, I, I use a little bit too much on the, uh, on the greenhouse base and uh, I've run out. I did order some more off the internet. I was hoping it would be here for this weekend, but it isn't. Uh, so I can't put any of that down this weekend, which is what I uh, actually wanted to do uh, prior to ordering the bark chippings. Um, the top of the plot is looking nice. I still need to rotivate it. I know I said I was going to rotivate it last week, but you know, um, you snooze, you lose, don't you, you know, and uh, before I got the rotivator out of the container, um, I thought I'd sit down and have a cup of tea, and while I was having my cup of tea, another plot holder got hold of the rotivator, and he uh, rotivated his plot, and I didn't have time to rotivate mine, but I probably will today, and, um, you know, get it all levelled out, that's my plan for today. Rotivate this, get it all levelled out. Uh, maybe put a skirting board along the bottom just to terrace it a little bit. And then uh, start on the uh, the weeding of that top half. But I have to be careful. Because somewhere in there last year, and I can't remember where, uh, asparagus started coming up. Uh, from the previous plot holder, uh, so I'm I'm going to have to be a little bit careful of uh, what I dig up and what I don't dig up, um, because my wife likes asparagus. Sorry about the wind noise if it's making a, a, a condition, but the the wind is slightly blowing, 
Um, you know, it's, it's, it's weird because I don't like asparagus that much. I can't stand the texture of it. I will eat it if she cooks it, but I can't really stand the texture of it. Uh, I prefer broccoli. But there is somewhere in there which last year asparagus started coming up. Um, so I've got to be a little bit careful about digging up the weeds there and make sure I don't dig up the, uh, the asparagus plants and uh, stuff like that also if there's we, we've got a new streamer um, on site and um, before we can use it obviously we need to know how to use it so if there's anybody on site that um, you know or comes on site that's used it before and they can teach me how to use it then I will stream all the grass down on that uh, well between my plot and the next plot because that actual grass uh, verge is um, getting overgrown and you can see all the dandelions I don't want them going to seed because if a dandelion goes to seed all of a sudden it blows all over your plot and you've not got one dandelion you've got like several hundred dandelions coming up they're just a pain in the backside really Although one time they were grown as a commercial crop. Uh, so there you go. That's leading on from last week. And uh, now I'm going to get on. So I'll leave you alone. I'll say goodbye for now. And I'll bring you back later on today. Well there you go. Hi guys I'm back. Um, <laughs> I've just tried to get the rotavator out of the... Uh, the container and it won't start it looks like some plunk has put the, the wrong fuel in it or, or whatever because we do have two we have a four stroke and uh, a two stroke and it's probably that somebody's put the two stroke petrol in the four stroke uh, rotivator um, also the two stroke one won't start which is unusual because it always did last year uh, so I'm going to have to um, wait for somebody to come down our resident uh, engineer um, and ask him why it won't start see whether he can fix it but uh, for now looks like I'm going just going to sit and have a cup of tea and then it's the old-fashioned way I'll dig it over with the fork and bash it down into a fine tilt and then level it with the rake it's going to be back breaking but you know one has to take one for the team sorry about the wind if it's making a noise but i can't i can't help that that's, that, that's the weather isn't it all right see you in a bit Hi guys, uh, I'm back on the plot. It's Sunday the 30th of um, April. Um, I've been down here for several hours actually. It's, it's now about 9.30, 9, 9.40, something like that. I've just started weeding this plot where the peas are. The peas are coming up nicely and that row in the middle there uh, is a catch crop of radish. They'll be uh, ready for harvesting and eating before the peas get to any, uh, any difficult sizes and need staking or uh, pea sticks putting in or whatever let me tell you what we did yesterday <laughs> do you remember i was supposed to be digging this top half over yesterday uh, because some plonker had put uh, put the wrong petrol in the rotavator so i couldn't use the rotavator because it won't start oops just fell into a pothole there never mind well that's all i got done um i started digging and then my wife came down with some lunch and a couple of bottles of wine and it tended to to all go pear shaped from there we just sat on the chairs and uh, drank wine and chatted so that was the end of my work so today 
uh, once I've weeded that bed down there, uh, I've got to carry on digging this over. Sorry about the wind, but I can't help the weather. Uh, I still need somebody to uh, show me how to use that new strimmer, then I can get rid of all this grass because uh, it's getting on my nerves now. It's too too high, too tall, you can't really walk through it and uh, the dandelions are turning to seed which is something we don't want. Uh, tomorrow, which is Bank Holiday Monday, May the, uh, May the 1st, I'm going to start weeding this top half here. Um, the compost is bursting out the bin there at the bottom um, for some reason so I'll, uh, I'll also, once I've weeded this, uh, move that compost bin and uh, turn the compost just to aerate it and let some worms in. Uh, but that's it, that's the progress so far. Uh, I'm also going to be transplanting my tomatoes and I will film that for you. Um, you know, just to show you how I actually transplant my tomatoes. They're in uh, seed trays at the moment in modules. They need to come out of there and go into a three inch pot for growing on, uh, ready for planting out. Um, was hoping to have the greenhouse space, uh, or the greenhouse on its base by now, but the guy that suddenly came and said he got 80 flags and do we want them hasn't been in touch since so I think uh, you know we'll mark that down to a yes please we will have them but he's thrown them away anyway all right so that's the uh, that's the plan for today I'm going to carry on digging over this once I've weeded that bottom uh, that bottom bed um, and I'll, I'll catch you later hi guys uh, hope you can see me uh, these are the tomatoes I'm going to be transplanting those in a minute into these uh, three or four inch pots just to grow them on a little bit um, so the way to do that is first of all to get yourself some compost um, I'm just filling the pot full of compost don't firm it down just tap it lightly leave it loose uh, just take these away and what we're going to do I can find this stick. Just hang on a minute. Here we are. We're going to gently tease these tomatoes out of the modules, holding them by the leaf, not by the stem. Make a little hole in the compost. And we're going to bury them right up the first leaf. Basically that's it. Bit of watering and your tomatoes are ready for growing on. When they get to a size where you can plant them out just take them out of the pot and plant them onto your bed. Just do that one more time. In the pot it's gone past it down lightly, make a hole, tease out your tomato, pop it in the hole, firm the compost around, absolutely first class, they grow away nicely in there, and in a couple of weeks, maybe three or four, I will be uh, planting them out. I'll also film that. Bye for now. Happy gardening. Hi guys, uh, back on the plot again today. It's um, Sunday. I'm um, not too sure, I think it's the 7th of May. And I'm just going to give you a little plot update. Um, in this bed here, as you can see, the peas have started coming up in the rows uh, towards the edges. Um, the catch crop of radish is coming up in the middle, but there are loads of little weeds that's uh, quite annoying because <laughs> you can't stop them coming up and they just, uh, they just appear. You know, you just got to keep the hole going between the rows and uh, knock them off uh, at the roots so that they can stop growing. Um, this bed here, um, doesn't look to be doing much it could do with a good watering actually I, I'm, I'm thinking you know um, just to give it a really really good soak but what I'm most annoyed about is my beans 
because I planted my beans against these canes last week and something's come along and at the tops right down to ground level <laughs> probably a mouse or or something like that you know uh, I don't think we have rabbits on this uh, on this site but there we go you never know um, I did manage last week to rotivate the top plot to got the rotivator going and I did manage to put that second bed in or that the last bed in I uh, don't know what I'm going to put into them yet but I've got to uh, got to put something into them because it's getting a little bit late in the season now it's May um, so what I'm going to do today because I've injured myself at work there's no digging or no heavy uh, heavy moving or whatever today because I've injured my elbow at work and I've, whilst I've got to keep moving it um, the doctor said I've not to put any sort of heavy strain on it for the next week or so uh, you know which doesn't bother me so I've come down here it's half past eight in the morning on uh, on a Sunday uh, I think it's the ninth uh, but I can't be sure because I never look at the date all the time um, I'm just gonna you know water these beds um, run the hoe across them because I can do that one-handed um, plant some seeds basically and then that's it sit down and have a cup of tea because <laughs> there's not really much I can do I'm a one-handed uh, one-handed gardener uh, you know and I can't I can't dig one-handed um, I know people do you know especially people who are one-handed and I admire them for that very much but um, you know not me I'm not uh, not capable of doing it oh um, I forgot to bring down the weed suppressant membrane the weed suppressant membrane has arrived finally should have arrived last week but uh, I'll bring that down sometime during the week and get get the rest of the plot done uh, in the weed suppressant membrane um, the end of this bed here over to there I'm gonna to have to put a barge board in because the plot slopes quite a lot so I'm gonna put a board in and terrace it basically and then like I said before the top half will just be treated as a normal plot I'll dig it over I'll put my brassicas in there um, I'll put whatever whatever else is in there and uh, next year uh, well this year actually in winter I will actually put some more raised beds in there and uh, they'll be uh, a lot easier to keep than, than just uh, a big plot really because it's not daunting is it it's daunting if you have to weed all that up there but if you have to weed a 1.2 meter by 2.4 meter plot that doesn't seem that daunting uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave you now uh, I'm going to finish this video because it's been going on too long it's been going on for three weeks now and I uh, you know I've got loads of footage and I need to get it down to about uh, or edit it down to about uh, 30 35 minutes um, so I'll leave you now uh, I'll get on with what I'm supposed to be getting on with it's a beautiful beautiful morning I'll do some watering do some seed sowing and a bit of mulching i think and then it'll be it this is the uh, the last video um of this series it's, it's taken three weeks but never mind sorry from panning left to right and right to left again but i can't just stay still like i said in my previous uh, edit and uh, I'll, I'll keep you updated on how the plot progresses throughout the season thanks for any new subscribers um uh, greatly appreciated and you know Happy gardening.